hello everyone this is mp so in this vb scripting tutorial this is uh, uh, we are going to discuss the arrays in this video and then function subroutines what is the difference between function and subroutines and uh, and many more things all right so let's get started so as you already know like in my previous video i uh, made this a i declare this names as a uh, array and in this array i uh, give a name like uh, uh, at zero index i i put a value and similarly for like uh, i am putting the value for all the indexes of this array so we can print that out okay all right so okay guys so let's display this in a different way so let's uh, put as a str string and the value of string is null for loop i equals to 0 to and then next and here what we're gonna do we're gonna store the value in the string str and and names and uh, oh here we have to give a value of i and vb new line and here in the message box we will display it let's run it so this is coming like this mp john david johnny and donna so this is the simple way of declaring it there is another way of declaring it let me write down so guys this is another way of declaring the arrays so in the first we uh, declare like a simple way and there is a second way that we can just declare a variable and then uh, we will just do like equals to array and then we can put the values like as a string or integer or whatever you want it does not matter to the array because it is not a data type specific and in the for loop still I am doing the same so I am just putting the concatenating the string and just putting the value one by one all right let's check it out how it is working so first and uh, first is MP and this one I gave a um, different name so that we can identify them oh see all right now because i didn't uh, empty the string before we put the other values so that's why it is showing the different one but anyway let me empty the value of the string before we use it so this time it will only show the second one all right guys so these two methods you already know like double clicking this is giving second values so there is another method of uh, redefining the array array list so basically to do that if we have to use the same name so let's comment this portion out because this is totally different let's get it out from the way and uh, so what we are doing here firstly i defined the name and i give a fixed size okay so what we are going to do we are not going to give a fixed size so let it be undefined array okay so if you try to run this i think this will give error because uh, it does not like it so what we have to do we have to redeem it we will define it again so firstly we didn't specify the limit and then maybe after some point when we know the count of some collection then we can give a redeem 
we redeem it we can use the same array and we can increment it okay so let's give the name 5 here that's what we already gave here when we were specified the limit so let's run it uh, what happened oh, names all right so it is working mp john and whatever it is okay so now after this let's give here um read him again suppose that in a future if we gonna we will have a additional value we already done with this array and we have to add a additional value how we can do that so read it and give a same names and just specify the size all right so here we gonna specify the size and then what we gonna do we have to give a name on that index that we will do so at six index i am giving shane all right and then we will repeat the same loop to see what is the new addition in it okay so this is the first loop when it the size was 5 so it is working correctly oh see what happened so it is giving the last one which we added but it forgot the uh, previous one so that is the problem here so how to solve that problem there is another way so for that workaround we have a keyword called preserve so actually what it's doing it is forgetting the old one and it is just adding the new one so we have to so what we are saying preserve the old one and add the new one to to this uh, array so let's save it and let's try to run it so this is the first loop which we already know oh this is a second loop see so now they preserve the old values but they added the new values too so this is very useful guys if you have to use if you have to put the values in the same array at certain point so this is called dynamic dynamic use of array so it is very useful so guys now there is a another kind of array which is called multi-dimensional array so what is happening in the multi-dimensional array instead of one index we can give it two index so as you if you remember the layout of data grid so if you have like uh, uh, what do you call two tables or whatever rows you have you can use you can use it like a data table or excel sheet so it is the same structure like that you can define your column and row values all right so let's uh, let's do that so guys to understand it better what we gonna do we will have so if you insert a table in the in the uh, in the excel sheet so it always asks you like uh, what is the size of your table you can also define the size of your table whether it's a two column or uh, the rows can be any number of rows but the column you have to decide so similarly with this kind of structure we will have the uh, array list so how we can def define uh, I'll, I'll tell you how so here we have to define like uh, so suppose that if i am saying okay i have like uh, three columns or oh, no, not three columns will be too much two columns two by two or two by three so two columns and three rows okay so you can use it in either ways okay so 
firstly here we gonna give the value for our first uh, first row first column which is like zero zero index so let me make a table for you so uh, till here I made a uh, three rows and one column so in zero column zero column zero row zero column one row zero column two row zero column three row so similarly if you see zero column zero row uh, zero column or oh, zero column second row zero column third row zero column fourth row and so on so let me make another column so as we as you know we define only two columns so we have to give a up to, we can give up to two columns all right guys so here uh, this is how i defined so first column i am putting these values and i um, i just uh, put one 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 at the end and here i put two two at the end and this is like the first column have three rows zero column have three rows first column have three rows and uh, third uh, second column have three rows so this will be go up to like three you know that right okay so now our multi-dimensional array is ready and uh, now this loop will not work because we have to give a two values so let's uh, uh, see if let me show if we can give a value here so we can just put and operator and then we have to give the uh, comma because uh, that we needed and then we have to give the value and maybe we can give we can give a fixed value which is uh, called uh, first one we will give a zero and the second one we will increment it and it will go up to three because our row size is three okay so it will the zero comma zero comma zero at the first loop and then it will increment automatically all right let's see if it's working ouch what happened here okay got it guys so i think yeah we have to just simply put zero and then let's put i let's see if it's work all right so it is working i think it need because we were putting like a comma in the in the brackets or in the parentheses so in the quotes so that was not good so here it goes so it is giving the first column but how we can get all of them all the values of the columns and rows so what we can do we have to uh, so if this one is going on so the zero value is constant for the first column so most likely the first value is constant right so we gonna put another loop inside the loop okay let's put it j equals to zero to three it is also going up to three right okay so j to g and then next so let's put this statement inside here and let's uh, change this zero to j so what it will do firstly it will go to this loop then it will make the value uh, 
Oh no 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 we will put uh yes we will put i in front because uh, firstly it will zero 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 so i will be the first loop so we're gonna put the i in front and then we're gonna put the j so it will increment the j all right let's see i hope it will work no no what happened here why it is not working oh you know you know what guys so what silly mistake we did we should change it to two because it is a two by two it is not a three by three data grid so i'm just change it to two and then uh let's run it so now it is running so mp1 john okay all right so this is a story of multi-dimensional array so you, now you know what to do and how to do and where you can use it so you can use your array to store the data grid view values from your ui or you can also use it for for your uh, database from get the values from the database tables so the only thing you have to take care you have to define the right numbers so firstly you can get the count from the database and then you can put that count into how many rows and how many columns you want to store so you can act accordingly and you can use the arrays for that all right guys so this is i wanted to explain more for the function and all that but i think yeah this video is already goes too long so let's uh, meet meet in next video all right guys take care